so this is going to be a pretty informal video um because i don't have a lot of time to make it but i just finished taking my ap exams and i decided that it would be helpful if i just made a video talking about what you need to know for the ap computer science principles exam which i just took so i'll just get into it because there's no need for an intro Okay, so the first thing you need to know for the computer science principles exam is the official College Board pseudocode. Um, if you look at the College Board website, you can find an official PDF with all the pseudocode expressions and their meanings. So you definitely need to study that PDF and just try to figure out what all the expressions mean and how they would be used in a block of code and what their functions are. So I would recommend doing some practice problems with the official pseudocode, which you can find on Khan Academy, and maybe your teacher might have some. But if you're self-studying, you definitely need to know the pseudocode. Another important concept on the exam, which I feel I didn't realize the importance of until I was taking the exam, is understanding how internet nodes work. Like, you definitely need to understand how information is sent through a network and how information is sent into packets and routed. And you need to know how removing a device from a network is going to affect the network's capability to send packets of information to other devices on the network. So you might want to do practice problems or just even like look at a network of nodes and try to problem solve and figure out how information would move from one node to another or what removing a node would do to the network or how you could increase the connectability of the network. The next thing you need to know for the exam is robot questions. They're basically going to give you a grid of squares and a little black triangle that represents a robot and you, de you need to know how to read the pseudocode that they give you and see which chunk of pseudocode moves the robot to a certain position on the grid. So I would definitely recommend doing some practice problems with the robot questions because there are going to be a lot of those on the exam. Um, the last thing I'm going to get into before I end this video is the create task. So I don't really have a lot to say about the create task, but I definitely recommend going through the rubric and making sure that every single thing in your written responses especially is easy to find and matches with the way that the requirements are worded in the rubric. So you want to make your answers really easy to find. Assume that the graders at College Board are like in a rush and they're just trying to find your, find what they're looking for and check it off and give you a point. So make it really easy for them to find your answers and definitely make sure that your code meets all the requirements. You're not necessarily trying to build the most complex code, you're just trying to build a code that aligns with what the College Board standards are. So as long as you follow the rubric, you're pretty much guaranteed to get a good score on your create task. Um, also, I'd like to add that if you're watching this like a day or two before your exam, really the best thing that you can do if you like haven't been paying attention all year is just drill the pseudocode problems, drill the robot problems, and just pray for the best because that's really all you can do at this point. Um, there are also like a lot of little details you need to understand about how the internet works and how data is represented like lossy versus lossless that it's going to be really hard to jam in if you're studying at the last minute so i would say just like just go for the basics and master the pseudocode and robot questions and you have at least a fair chance of getting a three so that's really all I have for you, but if you have any questions about the exam, you can just leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer. Um, so thank you for watching and I really hope this helps.